All right, Haddonfield. So, going to be a tougher map for us, but I'm sure we'll do just fine. Let me know what you guys think of the new Omrio. I think she is really, really strong. I don't think she's quite S tier, obviously. She's not going to be on the level that Nurse and Blight are on. But I don't think she's a million miles away from it. One thing I've noticed with the cages, they always seem to be pretty bad. <laughs> so we'll see if that's the case again here. We don't make that, I don't think. Oh, we do make that just about. Well played for not dropping the pallet as well. No panic drop there. There is a Claude out on this channel as well. We're going to go for a chase with her. She does have Sprint Burst. We're going to come with a Moonwalk here. Hide the Red Glow. We are going to get an M1 for that. And then we drop in Chase as well. The playstyle I do is hit and run. I think I might have seen someone else here. Maybe not, though. Yeah, maybe not. All right, we're going to come over teleport down here. Let's see if they're on this gen. Uh, they're not on the gen, but we do find the cage. We're going to interrupt that. It wasted a lot of his time there. His heal's going to be pretty much reset. Did go for a pre-drop. We're just going to go all the way around, and I think we got him with that as well. Yeah, we do. All right, there's Joel on the, on the gen as well, which is perfect. All right, really good start for us. Let's get him up, get him on the hook. We're going to put him on the hook right next to this gen as well. And that is also perfect because of the TV there. So if he get, when he gets saved, we could go in with a teleport if we so choose to. Where did the Claudette go? i just seen her here. She might have moved back. There she is. We'll take a pallet. We'll take a pallet and then uh, maybe an M1 if she moves away. Uh, if she doesn't move away, sorry. Okay, she did go for a save straight away. We'll take another pallet. There's a little teabag from the Claude. <laughs> we shall see if she's uh, teabagging at the end of the game. We are going to... I think she's trying to 99 a sprint burst there. We are going to take an M1. We do lose a gen there. Let's check on this gen. Okay, no one on this one, unfortunately. The only th the only um, slight nerf that Omrio did get beforehand, she could teleport anytime she wants. There was no cooldown. Now there's a 10 second cooldown, which really isn't much, to be honest. We're going to come with a teleport up here. No one's on this gen as well. Yeah, I kind of expected no one was on that. I think we would have heard it if they were. All right, fast fall over there. We're going to come with a teleport because there is a survivor here. We can give them a little bit of a condemned and uh, also take an M1. No pallet there. She does make a pallet there, though. I'll gladly take that. That's also an M1. Once again, well played for not dropping it. No panic drops. This would be another good pallet to get out of the way. Don't know if the Claudette went back in for that gen. I can't really see from here right now. We'll take the pallet. We'll respect it as well. And then we drop in chase. Yeah, so they didn't move back in for this. We're going to come over teleport again. See if they moved in for this, Jan. Still haven't moved in for this. Okay, there's the Fang. Car out in the open there. We'll take the down on it. In fact, she's not out in the open. She's got this pallet. But once she uses this, this is um, pretty much the end of the pallets that they've got here. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, so big dead zone now on the road. Going to de-manifest once again. There's no reason to teleport up there. There's no gen up there. Okay, they are now on this gen. I think the uh, Feng even moved up here. Yeah, the Feng's right there. Uh, somewhere, actually. I was hoping she was one of the ones that was on the gen. We're actually going to kick this. It is very close, so they're going to move back in for it, most likely. Uh, Cage and the... Uh, we'll just forfeit that gen. It's fine. The Meg's going to go back in for it. There's not really a whole lot we can do about that. If we chase over here, we will get a, a down on one of them. I think we'll go for the Cage as well, since he has been put on the hook already. We're going with a teleport, just to increase his Condemned a little bit. It's a little bit unnecessary. Oh, wait, the Claudette's there, actually. Let's hope we get her. Nah, we don't get her, unfortunately. She also has Sprint Burst. We'll play Claude. We're about to be down to two gens. It looks like we're in a really bad spot. It's not as bad as it looks, because we have got rid of a lot of pilots there. It's going to be a tough one, but I'm pretty sure we can turn this around. Should be a pilot there. Yeah, there is. We'll take that. You can't afford to respect as well at a pinch. We're also using uh, Dissolution. The reason being that I'm using Dissolution is because um, Omrio doesn't really have a lot of chase potential. So it just gives you something to help you out in chase a little bit. We don't actually make that. He is going to go for a drop though. And then there's the down. Also, G okay, no, that uh, yeah, no, that is Joel. It's Joel on the middle jump. We're going to go for a pickup as well. And then after that, he's going to be on death hook. We want him next to a TV, ideally. 
Okay, we're not going to get a TV. We're just going to put him here and then push this person off the gen. Oh, these people off the gen. There is two of them on it. Oh, there are two of them on it. Uh, she's actually going to make that there. So we're instead of chasing, we're just going to kick this. Meg's going in for the save. If we find him later, he'll be dead later. We'll actually take, uh, take the pallet. She's not going to play pallet, so we'll just take an M1. That's fine. We need to go defend our gens now. We're going to go in with a teleport to this TV. Uh, I'm pretty sure they would have went back. Maybe not, though, since they are injured. Oh, they were injured at the time. Oh, someone's condemned. It is going to be the Meg that's condemned. Okay, so obviously we want her out. She's first hook as well, so we desperately need to find her. I might have actually lost her. That would be really unfortunate if I lost her. Okay, no, we've not lost her. We have indeed found her. She might get that heal off. Let's hope not, though. No, she doesn't. She doesn't quite get that heal. And there we go. That's going to be the first condemned of the game. And that is definitely going to turn the game, turn the, uh, turn everything back into our favor. Because we were struggling at one point there. We're going to go over teleport just so we can get closer to that middle gen. Scratch marks here. They moved in for the window. We've got no interest in chasing them. We do want to defend the gen. I was going to go back in for a teleport to that TV, but the Fang beat us too, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to chase here. We're going to kick this. We're going to defend our gens. Want to come over teleport down here, just in case anyone is nearby. We actually do lose another gen there as well. All right, time is not on our side right now. Both committing to this as well. That is going to be an M1 on the cage. We could even chase him as well. Yeah, we might chase him here. Okay, Feng's going back, so change of plan. We will take an M1 on the Feng. Alright, there it is. And now everyone's injured, which is amazing for us. Uh, someone just used plot twist somewhere. I'm assuming that is the cage. <laughs> We're going to kick this. We're going to come over teleport over here. Uh, one easy... If you're worried about plot twist, one simple and very, very easy counter is just bring this stalker. But I really don't think plot twist is very strong, in my personal opinion. Fang's moving back in. Uh, I think this time we'll commit. Uh, she does have the window to play, if she so chooses. She's actually getting further than I sh than I thought she would by just holding forward. But because she's going back through here, now that is definitely going to be within radius for Jolt. So there we go. We'll take the Jolt on the gen. Jolt on the gen upstairs as well. Uh, I think we might go... Should we go for basement or should we go for the... No, I don't think we'll go for basement. We'll go for the hook over here so we can teleport back into that TV. Increase the condemned on both the, the girl who gets saved and... Um, the person who saves. See scratch marks over there. We're not going to chase though. Instead, we're going to... Okay, I did want to go over teleport up there, but they did turn that TV off, unfortunately. They carried on running through. I assume they went in for the hook. They didn't. They moved back over that way. So we're going to come over teleport to this TV. Hopefully increase the condemned. Yeah, there's the cage. That'll be his condemned increased. And as he moves into another TV, we'll teleport again. And that might be him fully condemned. Especially with an M1 in the back here. Which I actually don't know if we make. We might make it, since it's a medium. Nah, not quite, unfortunately. But we will go in. I think he went upstairs anyway, so we are going to go in with a teleport there. That'll definitely increase his Condemned, if nothing else. Yeah, he didn't run into our arms, unfortunately. We're going to get ready to teleport back. They'll be saving any second now. Okay, that's Cage, actually. We're going to teleport to that. I actually don't know what happens. Like, if you teleport at the same time like that, I actually don't know if um, what takes priority over that. We're going to go back in for the hook, though. We'll just stand one cage and get him out, I guess. Okay, he's now condemned as well. That is perfect. So that is going to be a condemned kill. That is last gen done as well. We'll wait for the Feng for borrowed time to run out on her. Or uh, Endurance to run out on her. Uh, we do want the cage, though. We take a 3k for this. That is going to be pretty good. Okay, there's Plot Twist. He tried to use that for stealth. Obviously, we did see him, though, so we can hit him with that Moria. And then we're going to get the Feng up, and then that is going to be a 3k. And I think the Claudette is probably going to get out. I am talking a lot today, aren't I? But I <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying the content. I am excited to play some buff Domrio. I have been playing her uh, off stream as well, and um, obviously off recording. Okay, so she hasn't gone into this one. We're going to teleport upstairs there. In fact, if that gate's 99, they might both be out. I, I doubt it is, though, to be honest. Uh, okay, no, she's on it. We might even be able to push her off, though. 
Yeah, we're gonna get a 4k from this. Might have sprint burst ready. Yeah, it does have sprint burst ready. So that's gonna be a trade. Unbreakable would hurt us a little bit, but we're gonna uh, play against the Unbreakable. We are gonna slug. Gonna chase the Fang. These windows can be really strong depending on how well uh, she plays it. She did go around. Yeah, I played that well there. Did run it into our arms though, so that is gonna be the down. And there's another plot twist. <laughs> we are gonna get her up though, and then that is gonna be GG's. Hope you guys have really enjoyed this video as well. We are only gonna be doing the one game for today. But um, I'm sure I'll be playing Omrio on stream maybe next week. So if you guys would like to check that out, link to my Twitch will be down below in the description. I've also started a new channel as well, which I'm going to... Uh, it's not going to be DVD related. It's actually going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! But uh, <laughs> if you guys would like the link to that, that will also be in the description or the pinned comments or somewhere that uh, will be easy to find. I actually can't find this Claudette here. Wait, no, she is still nearby. Just heard her somewhere. There she is. All right, let's get her up. Let's get her on the hook. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video once again. And as always, I will see you all next time.